Hello, good morning. Uh, now, today I, I, I thought I would look at local newspapers and uh, local stories uh, every day and try and bring these to you. Um, and I, I really am going to make more of an effort to make sure that I'm um, putting up stories every day now. So the first story is about a little boy of four, a boy called Mason, uh, up in Cumbria. Now, I, I know Cumbria. Uh, it can be very cold in Cumbria. And his mother, Chloe Willby, um, tells his story, uh, which was published today. Um, now, Mason had a slight cold, a runny nose, and he was being, uh, he, he's at school in a place called uh, Weekton Infant School, uh, run by a man called Jeff Norman. He's the head teacher. And Jeff Norman says that, the, um, uh, that, that he has a priority for the well-being of children. But uh, when little Mason uh, started to sniff and snivel, um, he was immediately isolated. He was put into a separate classroom and his mother was called to pick him up. Now that separate classroom was, uh, is described as an outdoor classroom. His mother says that he was kept in a shed. Uh, he wasn't fed. Um, and, uh, and, and he started to exhibit signs of hypothermia. Um, by the time she got to him, he couldn't speak. He was shivering. His hands were so cold, they were raw, um, they were red with cold. Uh, th 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 this, this is astonishing. Here is a vulnerable little boy who is fragile, who is being treated like a leper, um, simply because he exhibits some of the symptoms associated with COVID. Um, now, I don't think this is an isolated incident. In fact, uh, I, I, I have to point out that um, uh, when I was ambulanced to a uh, hospital, having, um, ha ha having started to hemorrhage badly after I had surgery for cancer, um, because my temperature shot up to, um, I, I, think, I think over 40, um, while I was in the ambulance, because I had an open wound, um, by the time I got to the hospital, um, I had a temperature which was judged by the hospital protocol to be a COVID temperature. Therefore, I was kept in the ambulance, and the ambulance went through the most extraordinary procedure of trying to reduce my temperature by flinging the doors open, by taking off my pyjamas, and slamming on um, fans. So by the time I eventually was admitted to the hospital, I was shivering and I couldn't speak. Um, you know, again, th this is treating somebody who is vulnerable and fragile, like a leper, because of symptoms that might suggest COVID. All they needed to do in my case was give me a COVID test. All they probably had to do in little Mason's case was the same thing. Instead, this uh, absurd protocol, which is predicated on fear and contempt for humanity. We have a duty, even if that comes at some risk, we have a duty of care and we have to keep our word. And our word as school teachers is to look after those who are entrusted to our care, not stick them in a shed. Uh, out of sight, out of mind. This is this is inhum this is inhuman. It's just wrong and it's quite right that Cumbria County Council have been brought in to question whether Jeff Norman is providing the right sort of leadership and the right direction for his school. Um, but we could say this about many institutions at the moment. Uh, Covid is around us, we have to learn to live with this. Um, it doesn't mean that we ring bells and scream leper and um, stick a cross on people's doors. This is, this is the stuff of medieval Europe. This is the stuff that we hear when Shakespeare was a boy. I mean, I think Shakespeare survived the bubonic plague. Um, he was the first in his family to do so. <clears throat> and, then, um, and, then he, uh, and then when he was a very small infant, there was a second plague and uh, he survived that as well. Many of the children in Stratford-upon-Avon didn't survive. Um, but as I say, this is the stuff of medieval Europe. This is not stuff 
of the 21st century and we should be treating people better. Anyway, if you have some thoughts on this, please let me know. Um, I, I, if I've got some of the details of the story um, wrong, please let me know. Um, but, um, or, or if you have further details about this story, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear about stories which you think are interesting and which need uh, a wider audience. Um, and let's get these stories out there. Um, and as I say, I will sit in this chair and do a story um, every day, uh, if I possibly can, about things which are of interest at the moment. Um, and uh, please follow the channel, ring the bell, and um, all best wishes, Mason, for a speedy recovery.